the Evansville Regional Economic Development Partnership is up and running and on the move. Tara Barney is the co-CEO of the group and she's with us this morning with lots and lots and lots and lots of exciting news. There's so much going on. There's a lot going on and that's all great because I think our community's on a great roll here. So yeah, it's a fun time. It is exciting. And Tara, kind of give us a sense of the energy that this group has created, especially after the year of lockdown. Well, you know, if we learned anything during lockdown, we learned that we can do things differently and still be very successful. And so that's that really is how we were able to, to find the energy to get this merger achieved. And it has, it's got, all of us working with different people than we used to work with, meeting new people, hearing great ideas. And so, yes, there's not only a lot of energy around the organization, but a lot going on in the communities we serve. And so it's, it is um, every day, every day is uh, an opportunity to find a new, new uh, chance to do well for the region. So it's fun. Well, we've got a list of things, so let's just tear on through there. Is this Red Ready program? I'll, I'll jump right in. So you've heard us talk about regional cities, which yes. came about a few years ago and was really what began to let us understand how in effective we can be as a region. Ready is the state's new version of regional cities and they've set aside $500 million. So a lot of money that we can compete for as a region. And so we're hopeful of uh, maybe landing $50 million or so uh, to do some uh, great projects around the region. I think you'll see a lot of focus on uh, housing because our employers and our people all need uh, more housing options than we've got. I think you'll see a lot of focus on trails and those things that give us great quality of place. So we are uh, working on that grant right now, that application, and we've got to the end of the of August to produce it. So it's um, it's not only exciting, but it's got a big time time deadline on it. Well, I'll be excited to hear uh, what uh, what we win from that. So talk to us about the uh, DEI recap. Yeah, I want to just uh, uh, share. We had a great opportunity to have Kara Harry, who heads up the uh, state's uh, equity and inclusion initiative for the governor. She was with us last week, and we had a really solid conversation with so many businesses and organizations around the region about how we can be more intentional about um, addressing equity, uh, inequity, I'll say, in our region. And so I'm really proud of the businesses and the individuals that are taking this conversation seriously and not just talking about it, but starting to do things about it. So it's, uh, it's a point in time for our region that I think we should all be not only proud of, but intentional on making sure that we are bringing about more change, more focus on inclusion as quickly as we possibly can. I was so and pleased one of the ways to see. We're going to do that, Angie, if you might, if you'll let me. Sure. Is with a newcomer's guide. So, why why is this conversation so important? Because we want to be the region people want to stay in right. and move to. And so we're producing a pretty cool, edgy newcomer's guide, which is not just a standard list of stuff, but will really, I think, position and represent our region to folks that are considering uh, working and living here in a very um, uh, genuine way. Show us the way we really are and how, how great it is to, to choose to live in our region. So that's coming out this summer. Well, we just have a few seconds left, but I do want to talk about the Facebook group. So tell everybody how they can connect to that. Perfect. One of the reasons we're doing the new Facebook group is, again, to use social media more to represent what our region's really like. So anyone that's got a a cool event, um, openings, news. Uh, we've got a Facebook group. It's called EVV Region on the Move. You can request uh, being part of that group and we'll let you in. And you can share your news with folks, not just around our region, but in the social media world. So uh, a couple good things that we've started in our new organization's first few months. This is all great news for all of us. And I'm going to sign up for that Facebook group right now. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, Angie. Love to be with you. Love being with you. More local lifestyles for you right after.